Noob Noob, I think I found a way to get you interested in this Russian YouTube scandal. Enlighten me, Sensei. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's right. Besides the money aspect of it, we're going to get you interested. Going to educate you on this. Tease me. So, okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of random names, and you tell me if you know who they are. Okay. Okay, so um, I was going to say Benny Hill, but it's not Benny Hill. Benny uh, Hanna, that's a <laughs> restaurant. Uh-huh. Okay, what about Tim Pool? Yeah, the gay, bald guy that looks like you. Uh, uh -huh. What about uh, some, uh <laughs> What about Liam Donovan? I don't know. Is it Ray Donovan, brother? Uh huh. The show what, on Showtime. What about Dave like, Rubin? That is a sandwich. <laughs> what about Benny Johnson? He sounds like gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't, I, don't, I don't know any of these people. All right. Well, how about what if I showed you that the ringleader was this chick? I mean, she seems kind of cute. Yeah, she's attractive in that like wholesome uh, I'm a TV presenter. What about what, this? What how do you feel about that? She's like, like a YouTuber. Gayer. Okay. <laughs> I, I like, I, I, you know, she's an interesting flavor of Asian. You know, I'd look, you had a chance. Look, you could have had a chance with her. She likes unattractive bearded men. Yeah, I'm so much better looking than that guy. I'll, and he I'll doesn't right even there, have a hat. Her face right there is a little chub, so I mean. What? She looks cute. There she looks better. She looks more Asian there. I like that. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my, God. my gosh. Yes. So, uh, I didn't even. Are we not even on this thing? That uh, is a rising dragon for me right now. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> is this, is this a trap? Every time there's an attractive girl you show me, it's usually got a penis. <laughs> this time, this time, no, uh, no this, no, well, I mean, besides the other people, but she is a secret Chinese covert operative trying to implant communism in America. Is that what we're going with? <laughs> Chinese is that so? Yes. Don't jump to just China. Don't Chen to just China. Oh, actually, I have big news about China, which I forgot to include. You will no longer be able to get your babies from China anymore. You can't buy Chinese babies. No more Chinese babies for you. How does that make you feel? Because they need them for themselves now. Because no one's having them. Is that it? I don't know, but you can't adopt any more Chinese babies. It's like all oh, babies are smart. You can't have them anymore. Oh my God. Yep. That's exactly what they say. But all these right wing, this is from the BBC. So essentially, all these guys got caught up in a scam. And I feel like you would have agreed to do this. In fact, you were probably going to say that you'll take it right now. So what they're saying, if you didn't know this, RT, which is Russia Today, was um, banned from YouTube, right? Because they're interfering with the elections and yada, yada, right? So sure. YouTube won't let them do anything, but there's a bunch of like people who who are YouTubers who were worked for RT apparently. I thought it was Russia TV. I didn't even know it was Russia Today, but they paid a Tennessee firm ten million dollars to create and distribute content to U.S. audiences hidden Russian government messaging. What? So essentially, what they did was uh, Lauren Chen and her husband put together this company. The Russians gave her ten million dollars to spend on like essentially tricking these these influencers like Tim Pool, Dave Rubin and Benny Johnson into creating content for the, for this Russian scheme. They were literally giving them hundreds of thousands of dollars a, a month to make videos for the platform. So Are you each serious? yeah, each guy was getting like $100,000 a video, give or take. With but, Russian propaganda built in. Well, not necessarily. I suspect, if I had to really guess as to what was going on, I think Russia was just trying to get its, its them like a platform back onto YouTube so that they could influence things. Like they would put these guys on there, and then they would eventually kind of like get rid of them, and then just use their own people. But they were going to like, you know what I mean? Like as a long game, not as like, oh, we're going to get these guys to do, you know 
videos for us because what they're saying is they put up the same exact videos that they would have put up anyway they just gave them they like licensed their videos to these guys so is there like secret russian infomercials i don't think they were they're saying there weren't and the reason why they knew is they they went off of their uh their their different you like how many subscribers they have but they've all made comments and it was just an indictment so so, so nobody's been con convicted and the only person who's really could potentially get in trouble besides the russians is lauren chen because she apparently was deceiving everybody she like knew people was looking things up and that would have been like you know what time was it in russia like she clearly knew something what? more <laughs> yeah <laughs> she knew more uh so benny johnson said he was disturbed by the allegations and he says that he's just a victim tim pool also said if these allegations prove true i as well as the other personalities and commenters were deceived and are victims i cannot speak for anyone it was weird too because i remember this popping up that this tenant media was popping up because that's the thing that lauren chen owned and I was like what is this why are these goofballs posting on here um, so how does she own she so she because she, she doesn't sound famous enough so she w wasn't famous before she Russia worked for the blaze no she worked for the blaze which is just like another channel owned by uh Not some the, some yeah and he, they canned her and then on top of it youtube closed all of her channels down so After she has been told to be a russian spy uh yeah basically I don't know if she's like does trad wife content or is just like do you know what trad wives are Where like a traditional wifey like i'm a wifey and i don't work i i go in the kitchen and i make sandwiches so she just tries to look hot and be in the kitchen i think so but i could be wrong maybe she's just like a conservative speaker i sometimes she has like opinions on like i guess like maybe the accolade or something like that i don't know <laughs> I don't know, uh, but there essentially they were person in there. So I feel like she has room to come. She has a connection there for sure. So they essentially went through all this and um, now she's been like, basically she's done. Like, I don't know what else she's going to do, but she ain't doing it on YouTube. So you're saying she's single now. <laughs> There's a chance. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so I don't know. Does that undermine basically all of these channels that you've never I'll heard take of? Take her heels to China. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you? But what? Are, what do you think? Like, are, would you, a would you take the money? Uh, yes. <laughs> B, are love, you open for Putin. business? North open Korea. Putin. Okay, which countries would you not take money from? Um, or should I just give you countries? Why don't you give me countries? And we'll Qatar. Would you take money That's from Qatar? Not real. Okay. What about uh, Yemen? I like them. Those are Eskimos, right? Uh huh. What about uh? What Those about the mountain? They're the mountain monks. Which is That's your favorite you Korea, and which? How much money would you take from from them? What's the one with the dictatorship? That's North, right? Uh huh. Those guys. I like those guys. You like those guys? And I like what that they starve their people because there's just too many fat people around. Uh huh. Hey, what about China? I know you're. Your oh my God. They have dragons. Xi Jinping, yeah, Xi Jinping. Yeah, yeah. Jing Jing Yamading. Yeah, obviously, I love that person. And you're 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 pushing for Putin, right? I 100% Russian bears and vodka. Why not wrestle them? Why not wrestle them? That all of that makes complete sense to me. I so. think I would support. Now, what I don't support is, uh, you know, the ones who tried to kill those attack dogs in Afghanistan. That's uh, Al Qaeda. Those just not behind. <laughs> that, those guys. You won't take any Al Qaeda money. No. Well, you know. What about the I Taliban? Like there's always a price. They're different. <laughs> no. What, yes. Maybe the Taliban. Al Qaeda and the Taliban are different. Is that what we're saying? Uh huh. Is that? Wait. Hold on. Are they really different? <laughs> You're kidding. They're not. They're just. They like. No, the, they're. The, they're. They both wear turbans. They both. Oh, no, 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 and then they explode. Right. No. Uh, no. Happen? They're totally different. They are different they're people. Totally different. Yes. Oh wait, the Taliban was the one that just banned women from basically existing recently, right? For sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Good are guys. you all right? So, uh, what do you give this out of ten in controversies? Uh, ten out of ten cancellations for me. <laughs> ten out of ten cancellations. I think I hit literally every single. I don't know. I I don't know if I could have insulted more people in this video. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I think that's. I know that you support my 
And you're really the one who gave me all of these ideas, so it's really you more than Oh, me. so I wrote all these jokes for you? Yeah, you have my family hostage. Oh, okay. So obviously, obviously. Yeah. Well And Z, what do you mean? Z Russia, Z. It's it's literally in front of you. I know. It's I, in I, front of you, people. I get accused of it all the time. Yeah. Anyway, so you give it a 10 out of 10 cancellations and controversy. What do you give her out of 10? I, she's, she's a solid 7 or 8. All right, all right. So what do you guys think? Do you think her career is over? Do you think that she's done? Do you think we should cancel Noob Noob for all of this? Do you think we should blame Noob Noob for all of this? I do say yes. Do you think yes. Z is a Russian actually propaganda who's at not getting paid, which is even more fucked up. <laughs> it's He's even worse. It's, it's the worst. He's doing it for free. That's truly a psychopath. Wow, absolutely. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for listening to this one. Like, subscribe. We love all y'all, but uh, we are on to the next controversy. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.